just have a cookie? No. Why not? You just have lunch. But I want a cookie. No, you just ate lunch. But I want a snack. You want a snack at your lunch. I want a cookie, Mommy. No. Should I pick the cookie as your lunch snack? Why no one? It's not fair. <laughs> How come Summer gets the cookie and I don't? That's what she picked as her lunch snack. Well, that's not fair because I want one. Emma, she picked it and you didn't. Well, I really want it. Give me your cookie right now, Summer. Give it up. Give me your cookie. Give it up. <laughs> It's okay, Summer. Emma, no, you are not supposed to steal your sister's cookie. Let's go. Here you go, sweetie. Here, have your cookie. Emma, you are in a time out. Emma won't take it from you, I promise. And Emma, this is why you need to take responsibility for your actions. You don't take your sister's things. And when Mommy says no, she means no. Now you're in timeout. <laughs> Be quiet, Emma. I'm going to put Lucille Liam down for a nap. And Caitlin. Well, Mommy's taking care of Lucille Liam and Caitlin. I can probably sneak out of this joint. I don't know how to get out of my bouncer though. The strap is tight. I can do this. Mommy just didn't want me to eat cookies, and they're just going to be mean to me. And not only have the cookie, and she would summer have the cookie and put me in time out. And wants me to be quiet, and they didn't care about me, then I'm going to run away. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And I need to pack a bag so I can run away. Right, I think I got everything I need. My pacifier, my stuffed animal, my blanket, and my robe. That's really all I need. I think I'll be fine in the world again. I better put on these sneakers if I'm going to be running around in the woods. It's better for running around. Now that I got my backpack on, I think I'm ready to sneak away. I just have to watch out for my I'll be real careful. I'm very scared of my mom's escape. I need it out of the house. Now I just need to walk around and escape. Hey look, there's the park. Now that I'm living on my own, I can just play there whenever I want. I want to go on the swing, but I'm too short to get up there. I guess I can't play on the park alone. Because I can't get on the trampoline either. Or the top of the slide, because I can't climb up. <clears throat> I guess I'll just keep walking. There's a wood. I could just go there. I have to find a good place to run away and hide. Okay, this is a giant hill. I'm kind of scared to go down there. I'm gonna fall and hurt myself. This has gotta be an easier wood to get to. Hmm. That way. There's some woods over there I can get to really easily. All they have to do is walk a little bit of a wood. And it's just down on the gigantic hill. And all the way in the wood. I better run. Uh -oh. okay. Whoa, I'm like in the woods now. Check it out, it's so cool. I'm kind of chilly. I wish I brought, brought myself a jacket. Why didn't I think of that? Mommy always tells me never put a jacket unless it's summer. Or <sighs> well, she tells me. 
guess I'll just sit down and wrap up in my blanket. <sighs> That's so much better. <sighs> I guess I'll just be cold for the rest of my days I live outside. I don't know when I'm going to go home or if I ever am. I like it out here, but it's a little lonely. I wish I brought somebody with me. But yeah, I brought Willie, and I also brought my teddy bear. I guess I could take them with me. I've got to keep moving because otherwise I'll get cold. Mommy taught me that once. So I think I might just go back the way I came because I don't really like it out here. And maybe I can find a neighbor who will take me in as their own child and love me very, very much and give me all the cookies that I ever want and never tell me to be quiet and put this thing out. And so, I think I'm just going to go to one of my neighbor's houses and see if they'll love me and take me in this house. I made it to one of my neighbor's houses. She needs to rake her front porch. This is the house. I guess I'm just going to knock and see what happens. Um, hello, can you please open up? I really need help. Now that I've invited you inside, dearie, can you please tell me some things about you? And pardon me, I just got out of the shower from my robe. Can you please tell me stuff about yourself? Well, my name is Emma. Okay, Emma, how old are you? Four years old. And I like pink and purple and cats. Okay, Emma. Um, where are you coming from? My house. Why are you a backpack all packed? Because I ran away. Why did you run away from your house? Because my mommy didn't love me anymore. And why do you think that? She said no cookies and she gave one to my little sister, Summer. And then she put me in time out and said to be quiet. She had to put my other baby sibling to bed. And then they don't think she loved me anymore. Yeah, she still loves you. She's just a little frustrated. I don't think so. I don't think he likes me anymore. So I packed a bag and snuck out of the house and ran away from home. Oh, dear, that's not good. Yeah, it is. If I wanted to run away, it's good. Um, what, uh, oh, goodness. I don't even know where to begin. Can I live with you? Uh, come right this way, dear. Come on. You and me will go for a little walk. Okay. So, what do you like it? <laughs> okay. Hey, you actually look like you could be my mommy. You have the same hair. Yo, I know. Hey, you need a blanket for it? Hey. <laughs> this like fun. Oh, you're very cold here. Yeah, you're just outside running around in the woods for a while. That's not good, Gary. Yeah, it is because I ran away. What did you pack in your bag with you? Can I have a look? Sure. And I was wearing flip flops, but I changed into these shoes so I could run. Oh, sweet. Here, let me see what's in your bag. Looks like you have a pacifier. Yep. A blankie. Yep. A little dolly. That's her name, Lily. And a little stuffed animal. Yep, it's a bear, but it's not my favorite animal. Alright. Why'd you bring that stuff? Because it's important to me. Did you think about bringing a blanket? Or, I mean, a. Oh, you're very cold. I didn't realize it until I got outside. Let's see. What about food? I didn't even think of food. I'll remember that next time I run away from when I run away from you. How many families have you run away from? This is my first time. Okay. How about I? Do you know your mommy's phone number? No. Do you know your house? I think so. All right, well, how about you and me go do some research? Um, come on, this way. We can go to my computer. We'll look up your house. We'll get your phone number, and we'll call your mommy. Why would we want to do that? So I can bring you home. I don't want to go home. Trust me, dearie, you will. Here we are at your house, dearie. Hello? Emma! Mommy! I'm home! I see that. Thank you so much. I've been searching everywhere for her. No problem. She came to my house. I got some information. And, um, yeah, I brought her home. She told me she ran away. Emma, don't you ever do that again. 
I want mommy. It was scary. Go with your mommy, please. Come on, I miss you so much. I miss you too, mommy. Don't you ever run away again, okay? I won't. Hey, you even got Lady of the Game Pajamas. That's funny. She must have got them from the same place as me. We have a good, similar taste in pajamas, don't we? Yeah. Let's unpack your bag, okay? Because you're staying. Okay. Hey, Mommy. Yes, Emma. Now that I'm home, can I have a cookie? No. I better pack my bag again. That was just a fun little Baby Live role play. Um, that was requested by a lot of different people many times. So, yeah, I just thought that'd be fun to do. Anyways, um, I plan on doing more like role play things like this because I know you guys love those. And I love them too, but they take a really long time to film. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, um, let us know um, if your Baby Live has ever tried to run away from home. We'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh, hey, baby girl. Did you wake up? Oh, guys. You woke up. Oh, good morning. Come here. You're such a sweet little girl. Here you go, baby girl. I was going to put you a blanket down. Now you play here on the floor. I always got you some toys. There you go, sweetheart. You can play with your toys and Mom will get your breakfast ready. First, we're going to make her some blueberry juice. I have this packet that I made. It's for blueberry juice. And I will put a link to these packets if anyone hasn't seen that. These are packets you can make on your own. So we're going to make blueberry today. It seems like a lot of you like the blueberry. So first of all, I'm going to open the blueberry packet. And inside, it's just a napkin with marker. I used blue marker on it. And I will put this inside the blender like this. And you can see it in there. I have her bottle filled with water. And I'm just going to squeeze it inside so I will for sure make the right amount. And I'll squeeze the whole bottle in. Or I guess I could just take the lid off. And just pour it in like that. like it's already starting to turn really blue. I'm going to put the lid on like this and push the button. All right, let's check it out. Look how blue the juice is. It looks perfect. All right, it's time to pour it in our bottle. Here we go. It looks so good. What do you guys think? Do you think she'll like it? Now we can put her lid on. Does it look delicious? I had you guys vote on what food you wanted and most of you voted for banana apple. So we're going to feed her banana apple food. I also got her this new little bowl. And it's so cute. I got it at an Asian market and it has cute little pandas on it. What do you guys think? So first of all, I have some water I'm going to pour in her bowl. That should be good. Let's open her packet. Oh, it's kind of chunky. Look inside. Hmm, let's pour it in. going to stir it up. I want it to be a little runny because she's not supposed to eat baby alive food. So I know it does look runny, but I'm hoping it will keep her from getting clogged up. So I did add a lot of water. It looks like it could be soupy banana apple, but I think it'll work good. Her breakfast is all ready. Let's go get her. Oh, all right, come on, baby girl. It's time for your breakfast. Oh, you're such a cute little girl. All right, let's go have breakfast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
going to grab her bib. Isn't it cute? All right, let's see if she'll fit in this high chair. I haven't ever fed her in this high chair. There you go, baby girl. Oh, she looks cute in it. Put your arms down. Let's put your bib on. Oh, it's so cute. Her breakfast is a little bit thicker now. Yum. Here's her blueberry juice. There you go, baby girl. Sorry guys, I tried feeding her in the chair and it wasn't working good because she was so wiggly. So we're going to try and feed her laying down. Ah. Was that good? Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> she doesn't seem to eat very good with the food at all. Yes, yes, mommy. What are you saying? That's not English. Here you go. Rico, Rico. I think if you push her tummy button down, it will change what language oh, she speaks. There you go. I'm right here. I was just painting your button. Oh, see, she doesn't, she doesn't interact with the spoon. But we decided to hold her because she was too wiggly in the chair. Oh, is it good? But I have to just give her a really little bite to a time and then give it a drink. That way it'll go down. Otherwise she'll get clogged up because she's a drinking wet baby. You're a mess. I honestly don't recommend feeding her. Because it seems like she keeps wanting to get clogged. Thank you, Mommy. So, I do not recommend doing this if you're watching this video. Anyway, guys, I don't recommend feeding them the food. No, because she gets clogged up easy. So, I would just stick with, like, making water food or very watery food. Like, only made of food coloring and not the actual packet because she does get clogged really easily. See, if you look in her mouth, she has it kind of back there and I have to bounce her to get it to go down. Like pat her little bottom because it's stuck in her little mouth. So I had to pat her little bottom like this to get it to go down. Yeah. I'm not going to feed her any more of this, guys. And I don't recommend that you guys feed your babies this. I'll probably save this for another baby. But she can't eat it very good. <laughs> She's cute, though. And I think we could, like, just feed her a bowl of, like, food coloring water and pretend like it's food. But I don't... <laughs> You're a silly girl. We're going to change you. we got to change your diaper. Hi, baby gonna change her little diaper because I think it's soaked through oh my goodness look guys well hold on we gotta change you look at that diaper can you guys see how blue it is here we go sweetheart oh, oh, mom's right here oh my goodness all right gotta wipe you off you're all blue and Go bye -bye. Don't go bye bye Whoa. yet. Look at that. It's all blue. What's your favorite kind of juice to feed baby alive? I like the blue because it shows up really good. I have an older baby alive diaper. Here's the heart. Well, sorry that the feeding didn't work out very well. I'll probably do another feeding later where I feed her like liquid, like pure liquid that doesn't have the baby alive food in it. There you go, sweetie. Let's change your clothes. Here we go. <laughs> She's such a little cutie. I might just leave her in her diaper. That looks so cute. You want your rattle? Go fast. <laughs> go fast. 
<laughs> You're a cutie. She's ready to go. All right, guys. Well, this was our attempt at feeding her baby live food. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and share this video with your friends. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Say bye.